Um, actually, I think more to the point, what uh, is happening in the UK is uh, an effort to divorce or separate retail from wholesale banking. So that retail banking, namely loans to uh, customers, uh, individuals in their personal capacity and also retail deposits, are somehow segregated uh, from uh, the large commercial deposits and also large commercial loans. And the theory being that the deposit insurance schemes cover the retail system, but not necessarily the wholesale activity. And so you can justify a system like that uh, on the grounds that you want the market to govern the lending and also the deposit gathering to big, uh, to big companies and keep that entirely separate from retail deposits where you want customers to be totally safe and knowing that their money's uh, uh, not, going to be, uh, not, not going to be compromised by the loans, let's say, to big companies. Now, the only qualifier I will say to that idea, which I know is being pursued in the UK, is that what happens when the next financial crisis happens? And once, uh, once you've divorced the retail banks from the wholesale banks, and if you have wholesale banks that are big enough, what happens when one of them is big enough, like a Northern Rock, for example, to go down the tubes and cause a, a crisis in confidence to the point where customers start withdrawing their money from other large wholesale banks? So you could have a run on the wholesale banking system and end up having to bail them out, just like we ended up bailing out the uh, banks that we saw during the financial crisis of 2007 2008. So I am not convinced that even divorcing retail from wholesale banking is necessarily the panacea that some people think uh, that it is. You know, the issue of how entrepreneurs get their money, uh, whether they would be more likely to get their money if we had retail functions totally separated from wholesale functions, is really an open question. Um, it may well be true that if you had the total divorce, that you would have specialized banks that would uh, focus just on the new and small business market. Uh, and it's conceivable that this separation would lead to that. Although again, I'm not, I'm not sure uh, that that necessarily is the case. Uh, you can have banks that have a retail component to them. And some of those retail customers may be small business owners as well. And uh, they may want a business loan. And so what do you tell those small business customers? that they have to walk across the street or go to somebody else because the retail bank, having been divorced from the wholesale bank, is unable to serve them. I'm not sure that's really in the interest of uh, the small businesses or the banks themselves. So I remain to be convinced that uh, the separation will lead to more small business lending.